Hi, welcome to Teacher Inspiration Station. I'm really excited for today's video because I'm going to share with you how I set up my teacher binder planner for the 2018-2019 school year. So I'm really excited. Now, I haven't always had a teacher binder, but for someone like me who is not organized by nature, this really does help me stay organized and on top of things. But before we get started, if it is your first time here, welcome. I'd really love it if you considered subscribing to my channel. I do teacher related content, but I also do some lifestyle videos as well. So if that's your jam, if that's what you're into, then please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you. So let's get started. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a binder, obviously. The binder I'm using is an Avery binder and it is the three inch binder. It is pretty big and I could probably go a little smaller. It is already a week and a half, oh, like two weeks in school and it is, looks like that. So I have a, a lot of space left. So this should do me for the year. I have a lot more contents in here compared to previous years. So hopefully the size will hold up for the whole year. You're also going to need page protectors and these are from Staples, but any page protectors will do. You're gonna need a ton of these. I have a lot of them, they're very inexpensive. I love these because I don't have to punch holes in my actual papers. I just slip it in one of these and we're good to go and it helps keep your Documenting your papers nice and protected. You're gonna need these sheet protector dividers and these are fantastic. So I have ones from the Avery brand. I have the eight tab one here. And I haven't tried this one before, but this is from the Wilson Jones brand and it's the same thing, only their tabs are colored. So I saw these and I thought, oh, let me, let me get these as well. So I grabbed these off of Amazon. And you're also gonna need some cardstock. So whatever colors you have, I have like a, a set that has a lot of multicolored reds, blues, purples, pinks, and I just cut them to fit the binder. The binder you want, you're gonna want the ones that have space where you can slip in papers. So it has this layer on it and as well pockets on the inside as well. So I have this dashboard, Teachers Change the World One Child at a Time. I love it. It's from the Happy Planner and I basically just repurposed it for this binder. I just like to have it because it's cute and you know me, I like things that are cute. So I went ahead and included that. And then here is where the, sorry, I have a lot of debris on my stuff here. Uh, this is where the cardstock comes in handy because I just slip it inside of the, this is a page protector, I just slipped it inside to make it more sturdy. So we here we have my long range plans and I've put it in the tab divider. This one is not in a tab divider, it's just in a regular page protector, but this one is in a tab page protector, sorry. So long range plans with my cardstock on the back. You have to submit these and every year, and this helps me so much with planning. It's, it's great. I'm glad that we are required to do it, so I'm forced to do it. So this is what I'm gonna be doing in reading, and I have it broken down into the different months. So now we're working on building a reading community, and I can actually link down below the resource that I use for my Reader's Workshop lessons, and it's great. So I have that. I have what we're doing for writer's workshop and then I have my math. So we have September, we're working on patterning and October we're gonna be working on number sense and so on and so forth. So basically what I did is I pulled out all the expectations from the grade one curriculum, the Ontario grade one curriculum and I just organized it like this. Now, obviously, just because you're on geometry and spatial sense doesn't mean you can't integrate number sense into 
your day. Like, of course, calendar, you can really do that. You can integrate patterning in the calendar. You can add games and different math games. So just because I'm on one like unit doesn't mean I can't tap into other ones as well and do some review or just a, touching a bit upon it, upon it. My science, which I've divided up into terms, term one, term two, term three, and so on and so forth. Okay, weekly schedule. Now I have included this in here. To be honest, I don't really need it in here because I have a bulletin board behind my desk and I include that on that bulletin board so I can have easy access to it. I can quickly glance at it, especially now that I don't have my i don't have my schedule memorized so for quick access i do like to put it on that bulletin board but i just thought i should include it in my teacher binder as well parents communication so it is important to keep documentation of when you communicated with parents of things that are relevant i mean if your parent asked you when do we have gym and i said day two like i'm not going to put that in here obviously right but like when you have communication with parents about you know a concern or even like a sunshine call and you can include that in here as well so this i found on teachers by teachers and i will link it down below so it has the date the time method of contact phone email note or in person the reason for the contact and any notes and this is a really small space so if you needed more space what i do is i just say i just write what i want to say and then i'll say please see attached or you can just add please see attached and have it included here each student gets their own little page protector pocket and i can just slip in whatever extra information i need to slip in even sometimes i send actual notes to parents like I like to type up my notes for parents. To me, it's just easier for me to just type them out. So I also just include it in here as well. I'm just kind of slip it in. So yeah, each student gets one of these. And then class information sent home. I wish I had a better title for this, but I just don't. Everything that I have created for parents, I just put in here. So I have our newsletter for September our schedule so i just put it in there again i have our homework policy and then uh a note here about uh poetry books that the students take home every week so i like this section here because whenever i have a new student it's great for me to just pull out what I have already given parents so that the new families and parents know what to expect in grade one. And I just sent home things that are relevant that they're gonna need. Of course, they're gonna need a schedule. They're gonna need to know about our homework policy. So it just keeps everything organized when I keep all the information I have sent home in here. So I can just quickly just photocopy it for those new students. And then here I have student information. And any kind of important forms and documents that I need to keep, I keep it in here. Like I said, I'm not organized by nature, so I just put things, I just kind of tuck it away somewhere. And this has been so helpful that I just have a spot to keep those things. So things like IEPs, uh, forms for school support team meetings that I have to fill out, kids with allergies, I keep in here, but I also keep it in my emergency binder. Um, any kind of forms, documents, things that I need for my students, I just put them in a page protector and I just keep them in here. Keeps me very organized. So that's student information. Think sheets. So think sheets are given to students who, if they have broken a rule and I need them to kind of sit out and reflect on what it is that they did, I give them a think sheet. So these are the ones that I'll open it here so you can see. So these are the ones that my school has and uses. So it's what did I do? So they write down what it is that they did and what they should do next time. And then here they circle or highlight the rule that they need to remember. So we have watch out and play safe. When asked to stop, I need to stop. Keep hands to yourself. Give each other space. Be nice, speak nice. When the bell rings, line up right away. Think of the best idea. Take a time out if you need to calm down and listen to staff and others. I don't necessarily give this to kids right away. So it, it depends, right? So I have this one. 
which is the one I usually use. But then there's also this one that our school ooh, also uses. I've never used this one before, but it also has the feelings. So this is what I chose to do. It made me feel happy, sad, mad. Next time I can choose to da da da. And he comments. And then it has the principal signature, teacher signature, and parent signature. Honestly, I wouldn't get my principal to sign it unless it's like something really severe that the principal needs to be aware of. But otherwise, really, it's usually just me and the parents. So I would even take that out personally. If my principal needs to be brought, brought to my principal's attention, I will just let him know. I don't think he necessarily needs to sign the think sheet, but I guess he could if he wanted to. I don't know. And then I have never used these, but these I found on Teachers Pay Teachers, but I thought I would include it so that you can have it if you want it. Cupcakes and curriculum, that's from, I'll link it down below. So that's this think sheet. And then this one is from Second Grade Snickerdoodles. And yeah, so I'll link those down below if you're interested. And then behavior logs. So you know sometimes we have those students where we need to keep track of their behaviors. So I don't have one of these for every student, but this is like, I've had this for so long. <laughs> it says the month, the day, the student's name, month, day, what the behavior was. So if it was non-compliance, unsafe or self-interest actions, disrupted learning environment, running from classroom, extensive difficulty with transitions or other, and I can write down what it is. And then the severity of the, and the duration. So was it a high, medium, low? It was it for the full day, half day, full class, part of the class, or a single incident? And then any comments that I have. I always find the space for this is too small, so I always say, please see attached, and then I will attach a copy of what I'd like to say. Now, I don't know where I got this. I, this might be from our board. I've had this for years. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm not sure where I got it from, but I'm sure on Teachers Pay Teachers, they do have behavior and safety logs as well. But this is just the one that I have. So I just have a few in here. Obviously, they're not filled in. But I just included those so you can see what they look like. And then meetings. So any handouts that we get at meetings and notes. I'm a person I like to write notes on the little handouts that I get. Or sometimes I'll just write it in a notebook or note paper. And I can just keep that in here as well. Of course, it's blank because I didn't want to include that information for my school. But this is where I would keep it. Excursion forms. So whenever we're planning a trip, we have to go through certain steps. So I just kept everything in this tab. So these are all the things that we need to do, all the forms we need to fill out. So I just kind of kept everything in here. And then if a student is, if there's an accident, what are the procedures that's going to be taking place? What are you going to do if there's an accident? And then if there's a missing student, what actions are we going to take place? And what are we going to do if these things happen? So I keep that in there. And then day plans. So basically my planner on my desk is opened like this. So I don't take my, I do not take this home. I leave it on my desk like this and all my plans, I just put it on here. And the most recent one goes on top. But as you can see, I like to type out my plans. Now, sometimes people look at this and they think, oops, I forgot to slip this in somewhere. Oops. All right, <laughs> sorry, I have to fix that. I like to type them up. Sometimes people look at this and they think, oh, that's a lot of work to type them up. But honestly, to me, this is so easy to just type them up as opposed to writing them down. Because once you have your template all set up, just typing in the little blanks that you're gonna do is so much easier and you just print it out. And for me, that makes my life easier. So once you have your template going, it's, it's fine. I forgot to mention that I'm also going to add in, this is add school year calendar. So my board provides a calendar that is the, like the 2018, 2019 school calendar. So it has PD days, holidays, and et cetera, et cetera. I'd like to print a copy and just stick it in here in this little pocket. I'll also put a copy of that in behind me on my bulletin board. Now, I should also note that I have other binders. I have an assessment binder, which is pretty self-explanatory. I also have an emergency binder, and that's where I keep 
lockdown procedures, fire drill procedures, student information like their index cards that has their name, their birth date, address, parents' telephone numbers. Uh, what else is in there? Also, kids with severe allergies. I include the sheet in there. Uh, parents need to fill it out. So what to do in case of a reaction, the steps I need to take. And also a class list goes in that emergency binder. And that emergency binder is left on my desk with the supply teacher. And I also have a supply binder as well. Um, so I can do separate videos on what's specifically included in those. I just wanted to share that I do not have every single thing in this binder. I do have those separate binders as well. Now I should mention that my actual teacher happy planner also stays on my desk. And that's where I jot down dates. So curriculum night, uh, parent-teacher interviews, meetings, whatever is going on in my life, I keep that in my teacher planner, but actual plans and things like that don't actually go in there. So it's just dates, basically. So that's it. I really hope you enjoyed my video and you found it useful and helpful. If you like it, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and comment down below of some items that you think I should include in my binder that I might have missed. Uh, because this one is different from my last year's one. I added more content into this one. And every year it changes. Every year you're trying to improve and what works one year didn't work the other. So that's it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please do not forget to subscribe. I'll see you all in my next video.